Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Insanely Crazy Girl I work at a shipping warehouse as a team lead, I do everything the supervisor can't do or can't get to, and I just go to work to work every day never anything ELS I always keep to myself I'm 20 I hate drama, I'm not at work to make friends. So there was this new girl who got hired as an employee and long story short she had a crush on me and told my supervisor and then eventually put a note on my desk with her snapchat so I added her because I thought she was a good looking girl, she would respond to my texts within 3 seconds every time for weeks straight and we were hanging out and having an active sexual relationship she's 22. And then there was this one day where I woke up and she had me unedited on snapchat and it showed me pending when I tried to snapchat her and so I called her and she didn't answer and then she eventually didn't give me some excuse that her phone was dead and she was asleep or something like that so I said okay gave it the benefit of the doubt and moved along. I'd always think back to how she gave me her snapchat at first, she approached me so I have no reason to worry. After this about 3 weeks later of normal good relationship hanging out and all that good stuff, we're getting in trouble at work because we spend too much time together and talking. A spot eventually opened up and I made sure she got it because it was a good promotion and she was my girlfriend, at least that's what I thought. Now she tells me she's going to the beach for 3 days with her family. This is now 3 months into the relationship. So the day she leaves she removed me on snapchat again and that time I said ok I'm done like we need to either talk in person or I'm done right here because something is obviously wrong. So later that night she added me back and gave me some bullshit again and I was just like yeah ok I'm just glad you answered and you're alive yeah no but I know you're up to something and we need to talk. Eventually that night she unedited me again and I was like ok might as well keep me unedited because I'm done after that for the third time, then I decide to go on Facebook and look one last time because she had previously told me she didn't use social media but after only 2 minutes of looking I found her profile and the bio said something along the lines of in relationships once 2018 with, and engaged. So then that's when I really found out the truth and honestly I wasn't even upset at all I was more relieved I didn't have to worry about it anymore and that it wasn't going to be. So I messaged her boyfriend screenshots and exposed her and said yo I don't want her but I think you should know about this. And blocked him and since the. She constantly is trying to talk to me at work saying how she regrets it and she wishes she just picked me instead and all that. Literally insane and no I'd never go back to her now that I know who she really is. At least you aren't the poor bastard engaged to that shit show. Facts. Be careful at work. You go to HR first and let them know how long you've had a relationship with her. Let them know that you just broke up and you're concerned that there may be retaliation as you let her fiancé know that she's been cheating on him. If she goes in there first spinning the story that, as her supervisor, you offered her a better job for a sexual relationship then you'll be out on your ass in two shakes. See ya. This. Cover your ass, also never screw people from work, keep it how you did, you're there to work and make money, not have friends or relationships. Also always research, especially bold people, just remember if they are bold enough to do it to you chances are that's not the only one she will do it to. Good luck to you and I'm glad you're not those foolish ones that play blind, I mean after the first time you should have let her go but live and learn. I appreciate it but she was all over me at work. I made sure the supervisor and I were aware of the situation to cover my ass. Trust me. 58M here, here's some free advice. Don't shite where you work. It never works out. Specifically, if she decides to go to HR and say you were harassing her for sex, you're not only now liable for a lawsuit, but you will lose your job. Never, ever get involved with anyone you work with. It's not just bad juju, but will end up costing you a hell of a lot in the end. Edited to add, if she'll cheat with you, she will cheat on you, even if you didn't know she was cheating on a fiancé, she is still a cheater. 
See you with your HR as others have said. Go North Carolina as much as you can. Look up the 180 and use it when you have to interact with her. As a 20 year old I can say I learned this the hard way and from now on I will pass on your advice to anyone ELS who I think could use it. Thanks. Good, hard learned lessons aren't those that old guys like me can teach you, they're the ones you've learned the hard way. That's how you don't repeat them. If she a hoe back to the streets she goes. How long has this happened? And she keeps telling you to come back. When was the last time she asked you? Lamau. She's one hell of bitch. She took you for an option. Happy you figured out. She's mean. Screwing you while engaged. That's hot, hot face. Damn dodged a big bullet my guy, love you gesture. So you never actually defined a relationship? Did you ever go to her house? Meet her friends? If all you did was talk on Snapchat and duck, it was an obvious hookup, not a relationship. Do your research next time and don't assume shit. People are ducked these days. So you never actually defined a relationship? Don't assume shit. People are ducked these days. I don't know what has happened to the world. I'm only 43, but I remember a not too distant past where you didn't need to have any talk. If you saw someone regularly and ducked, it was kinda understood that you were an item. Being exclusive was the default, and seeing other people was something you specifically agreed upon. These days it's the other way around. I found out that besides me, she has a boyfriend and two guys who are her FWBs. So, you never asked her to be exclusive, did you? I'm so glad I'm not single. If I ever become single, I'll just stay single. I simply don't understand the rules concerning dating anymore. Or rather, I do. There are no rules. People do what they want without any concern for others, and they defend their shitty behavior with but we never agreed to be exclusive. You're right, just spending all my time, only talking to one person, being sexually active and stuff like that makes me think I'm in a relationship but you're right I definitely learned a big lesson for next time. There was a post a few months ago from a guy that found out that his fiancée was cheating for the first two years of their relationship. This woman apparently believed that they weren't an exclusive couple until they moved in together, so she carried on seeing other guys. I sincerely hope that she was his ex-fiancée at that point. I didn't read that. I'm guessing it was on a relationship advice sub. I stopped following those because I got so angry reading how people's so-called loved ones treated them. Also because most of the people giving advice in those subs, are very big on forgiveness, provided the one to forgive is a woman. I hated the double standard. Women could get away with almost anything. But when a man did the same thing, the advice was to leave him. It was always something along the lines of yeah, but why did she cheat? Maybe you weren't there for her? But I did read the one where a guy's wife informed him casually, right before her sister's wedding, that she had slept with one of the groom's friends four years before. They had been together for five years at that point. She just wanted to let him know so he wasn't blindsided if anyone said anything. She genuinely believed that anything that happened before marriage doesn't count. WTF. Unfortunately he didn't leave her. He forgave her because she really believed this. Which is exactly the problem in my opinion. If she genuinely believed that, it means that she has no common sense. What else does she believe? What will the excuse be when she ducks her trainer at the gym? But if you say something like that in this subs, you'll get downvoted into oblivion. Hence, I don't follow them. I just let the world burn. If guys come to reddit for advice on what to do when finding out their gf slash fiance slash wife cheated, and they can't themselves figure out what to do, chances are that they are doormats anyway. Yeah, I remember that one too, she was so nonchalant about THW whole thing too and was genuinely surprised that he wasn't happy about it. Her total disconnect from reality and what is right and wrong just shows that she's unfit for a committed relationship, let alone marriage. I felt so bad reading that he would stay with her. She's either dangerously naive or she's a grandmaster of gaslighting. 
akin that one it all came from the mother. The father told the guy that the mother raised them to believe that marriage was like a reset button and that nothing before the wedding day mattered anymore. He claims that he told the mother that it would cause problems but other than that he did a call to try and reinforce some value in his kids. Che Dyer, Era Fidanzata, Harpresso Linisiative Trade and Il Suo Ragazzo. Una Patana. This is why we all need to be very proactive in determining who it is we are really dating. It's good you found out early. Could you imagine being married to her or had a child together? She'd be the neighborhood smut. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 